Hey people, Intro here, 3 SDL Province, Blue Team. Swagger get smacker with a commander knob. Infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky style begins in ranged combat with a twin link shooter. The best name of 297 so far. Alongside, Mr. Warren with a Plague Champion starts off with the damage of a time Bolter can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support. And rather than off the blue team, Undergiven is a Force Commander, very strong offense, fighting in melee, can also tank, disrupt and support. We've got some Blood Ravens. Red team, Imperial Guard, Elranis with a Lord General, fighting in ranged combat, begins with a Retinue Stormtrooper's really strong defense and support. Can also add to the Retinue at the Death Core of Krieg DLC. Which I think looks awesome on the Lord General there. Alongside the Herald of Diabetes is an Inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialised ranged weapons. And round and off the teams is Atro with a brother captain, a durable hero that walks through objects and can't be suppressed with powerful offence and support fighting in melee. They're on the east side against the Force Commander. West side is Lord General against the Commander Knob. With those stormtrooper buddies, I think, I think the Lord General's bolter is like 20 DPS, and the two stormtrooper fellows are like 5 DPS each, which is decent, 30 DPS altogether. But of course, he loses DPS as those stormtrooper models die. But that in turn, in turn, protects the Lord General himself. So there's some trade-offs. Sluggers getting into the back lines. The stun bomb did well. Sentinel gets the ground pound. Might be looking to stomp on some orcs. There it is. Only hits a single model, but it's something. Those guys maybe could have gone for the garrison, but it could have been super risky if burners came in. The other guards are ducked into the bunker, and they must flee. The orcs push through and get it done. They can cap up this side. Meanwhile, through the mid, a bunch of dead heretics for Mr. Warren. They looks like they did get away, though. Back at base there. Scouts hanging out. Got some guards from building some cover stuff. Inquisitor. And Sentinel took a beating and backed off, it looks like. East side. Strat squad doubling back to cap this wreck point. But the captain took some hits, has a Nemesis Force Sword on the way. For those not paying attention, this is indeed 297. Go and check out the notes and stuff on the website, because I'm not going to remember, remember everything. I'll put a link in the description, as I, as I did for the last few casts that were still on 296. But uh, been having a good amount of replays coming in for 297, which is nice to see this quickly. So I'm able to transition to it quite quickly. We've got a heavy bolter turret in the mid from the Plague Champion right in the mid. It's a strange place to put one. Two to one cap here for blue. More pressure from the Orcs. Shoot the boys with their knob leader. Commander not being sneaky. And hide the boys up on the sluggers. Stun bomb sets it up. Some repairs for the Sentinel. Sluggers are there. Can the Sentinel react quickly now? Backs up, gets the stomp. Nicely done. The Garden almost died that quickly though. And we have Grenade Launcher, Lord the General. Move, move, move. Might help stuff increase the gap from the Sluggers when they start to charge. Just run the hell away from them. Lord the General loses both of his retinue buddies. I believe they increased the time that this retinue infield reinforcement takes for the Lord the General. I believe that's right in 297. Force Commander just got a change to his Flesh Over Steel, I think. Which is his Power Fist ability. I think they reduced the energy cost of it. Or, yeah, I think that's right. Inquisitor got a change to a Crossbow Bolt Pistol. Which gives it, I believe, perfect accuracy on a move. Or at least it doesn't have a negative modifier on the move. Which is pretty cool for her. Looks like we're going to see the Holy Brazier here, though, against... All this heavy infantry makes sense. There's a stomp. Heavy bolter turret on the east side now. The one in the mid is still there, by the way. Devastators. Big changes for these guys. They got hit with the nerf back quite hard on their vengeance rounds. Just a, a bunch of the damage modifiers and stuff toned down. It was changed at a, a while ago now that you can still transition from, from Vengeance Rounds into Laz Cannons. Maybe it was seen as a, a bit too versatile, a bit too win-win. But there has been some, some backlash over it. People thinking it's a, a bit of an overcorrection. We'll see. I'm sure they'll keep an eye on it. And I believe they are planning another update. Hopefully by the end of the year so they can adjust it then if they need to. NLB and Elite League. I think starting soon-ish, TM, where they can 
uh, keep a good eye on that stuff. I'm not sure if it's set to start now in 297 or when the next update goes up. If it's already going on right now. We have Interceptors on the field for Atro. Catechon Devils on the way for Herald. Triple CSM for Mr. Wern. And another Heavy Bolter turret. That's like 690 spent, spent on turrets or something. And this one is not in a good place. It should be, I think, over here, protected by this line of sight blocker and covering anything that approaches from here, as they are doing right now. They should get at least one of these turrets here, I think. Fool's Command is in a bit of trouble. Might need to pop Battle Cry to get away here. I think they definitely will. And there it is. There's the Battle Cry pop to use the special attack to run. And he should be fine. Meanwhile, the Brother Captain's right up close to that turret, taking tons of damage per burst. But still gets away. He's a tough fella. Just under a thousand hit points at level one with no war gear. The Mrs. Four Sword making We Are the Hammer a little bit better. More of a speed bonus and more of a damage reduction bonus as well. Capuchins with their disruptive grenade launcher. Can they get in here though? Both the turrets are still up. The Stormtroopers trying to get things done. Plague Champion is repairing and shooting, but can't repair them both. And there's no heretics here. In fact, Mr. Wern has no heretics. They're all dead around on the floor here. We do have spotters. They can pop their smoke shell and mess with the turrets maybe. In fact there it is. If we look at the turret range now, it's much reduced. They get one of them. Is the mid one still there? The mid one is still there. Triple CSM should be getting into melee. I think even with the catechins there with three of them, they can overpower the catechins. Here comes the Inquisitor though. Evens that up with his power weapon. Also interrogate his armor to infiltrate stuff. Also helps deal with turrets. Can they finish it off? Inquisitor gets in there. Turrets do have a minimum range, so if you're in melee with them, they can't shoot you. Holy Pyre and the Hammer of the Witches. She goes after the CSM. So after those heretics. Good special too. 50 DPS melee, I think this is. Power melee that is, yeah. Could have finished off the turret there. Maybe she should have. Here come Interceptors though. Teleporting into range. Still repairing is the Plague Champion. Did all three CSM get away? They did. Lost some models between them, but um, did okay. I mean, they didn't really use it to get onto the power, but they have retained that eastern edge power, and they certainly stopped their own natural power being bashed. I mean, look how blue the map is right now. It, it bought them some ground, bought them some time. Speaking of nerfed devastators, here they are for Undergiven. No sign of the Vengeance rounds. I think it's only 75 wreckers in it. It's a... I mean, it's a pretty pretty well-priced upgrade for what you get. At least it certainly was. We'll see how it does with the adjustments it, it's got. Already, a fully kitted Force Commander, Thunder Hammer, Armor of Alacrity, and Teleporter Pack. Big fan of Armor of Alacrity myself. I think it helps the Force Commander get so many retreat hits and kills. It really helps him level up silently on the Inquisitor. She infiltrates herself. Hammer of the Witches, she can't stay close enough to get it. They can get onto the power though. They folded pretty quickly there once the turrets went down. West side is uncapped and I guess Elranis didn't realize that the orcs weren't back here and they could have capped it. Death Dread with burners and bits gives it a couple of burners and more bits hence more hit points there. Stomping through burning stuff no anti vic Oh, we do have a Sentinel missile launcher. There we go. Gets a shot in there. Catechins can also get get a melter gun. The Lord General himself can get melter guns. So they've got some options. And a war truck here as well. They're going to need some support from Herald, I think. Has their own Catechins and their own Sentinel. I'm not sure if it has the missile launcher, though. Garden being roasted alive. Should be bashing power. There we go. Flamers typically very good at dealing with power. Kicking off on the east side. 2v2. Here comes Mr. Wern. With some Markov Zinch CSM. Two of them, in fact. Intercepts are teleporting in, though, with a furious intervention. They should get one of them on uh, Markov Korn. Here we see some heretics. Oh, this is another change. A change for heretics is that apparently 
the aspiring champion gets like a full-on bolt gun now when they have grenade launchers. Unfortunately, these guys don't have an aspiring champion, so we can't see it in action. Just trying to look up what the DPS of that thing is. It is a 11 DPS bolt gun, apparently, which is uh, not bad. I mean, tactical marines are like 13.29 13, 13 DPS or something, aren't they? Orcs are camping out here. They should be decapping the power, but you know, it's orcs. They want to fight stuff. Death Dread might be lost, but I'm sure it's going to go out swinging. The Sentinel is just getting shots in here. And everything else is chipping away at it very slowly. Catechin's in melee with it, doing some power melee. That's alright. And down it goes. I don't think you need to lose your Death Dread there. Swagger, but. I mean, he's got an orky name. He's playing like an orc. Scout squad with a sniper rifle in, in hand. Devastators need to cap the wreck point, which is fully matured there. Force monitor just kind of hanging out in the mid, and the orcs continue to pile the pressure. Shooter boys need to run, though. Everything can reinforce off this war truck, by the way. It's got the reinforced plating for more health. 465 to 254. Commando is indeed stealing that power. Iran is not really able to get anything out in tier 2. And losing your power doesn't help, I guess. No Sarge for those guys. Is there more retinue going on? Where's the power gone? Not sure. Maybe he doesn't have much power. East side, a whole glut of Marines. We've got Stern Guard, we've got Tactical Marines with Sergeant. Rhino up with Heavy Bolter Turret for Atro. Dreadnought now for Undergiven. Although Mr. Warren has the Dreadnought of their own. Looks like they lost their Heretics again though. Mucus Discharge for the Plague Champion. Awesome accessory. Big heal for him. 215. And the 70 health around him is pretty damn good too. Looks like the Orc is finally going to be persuaded to leave. Double missile launcher. Sentinels here. War Truck should be backing off surely. Looters in play. Trying to get things done. There's Swampum on the Sluggers. Yeah, looters are out of there. War truck is driving forward. It's going to go down. Yeah, one more missile. I think this other sentinel was using crack, uh, sorry, frag missiles for a while there, but they eventually got the war truck down. Lots of plasma guns, just a wall of gunfire now from the red team here. They can get the west side back. Sloppy from Swagger, I think. Sloppy losing the death dread. Sloppy keeping the war truck there. The rhino's gone down. I'm sure the Dreadnought had something to do with that with his auto cannon. Level 2 Force Commander, Stern Guard could have used their Vengeance rounds as well. And we have a Bile Spewer Plague Champion dissolving these generators. And this is going to be a flank maybe from Herald. Looks like they're trying to set one up. What are these spotters up to? Where's the rest of you? Oh. Okay, they're strangely split up. Yeah, the Sentinel I don't think can trade here. Of course, the Auto Cannon is doing a bunch of damage. The Assault Cannon is doing a bunch of damage. It only has heavy infantry armor, remember, this Sentinel. Well, this is interesting. Herald just used Hell Fury Strike on their own stuff, I think. I can only assume that was a horrific misclick. And down goes the Sentinel. That is a big oof for Herald of Diabetes. His fingers were too fat and pressed the oh, all the wrong things. Can they recover now? That is a that is some big losses from a self inf, self inflicted hell fury strike. Very odd. Looters with the death gun, big threat to the sentinel. He could go around though, there's plenty of space. Go around and get a stomp. Not sure why the looters aren't firing here actually. There we go. Wake up, fellas. They're being messed up by the frag missiles, though. Here come Catechins as well. Yeah, they have to retreat. And I think Red Team are going to get the west side. Can decap this wreck point as well. Who's down over here? Brother Captain is down over there. Tons of pressure from the blue team. And now Herald having to rebuild. We have anti armor kit stormtroopers. What kind of changes did Imperial Guard get? Let me have a look here. Talked about the crossbow bolt pistol, she's just not using it. The Law of the General grenade launchers got cost increase, which we have seen in play here. 
looks like the Lord of General's melee damage was down. It says here in notes, power sword damage. I don't think... Maybe it's called a power sword in the files, but it's definitely not a power weapon in terms of damage output. Inquisitor's still level 2. Just hit level 2, actually. They're on the power. Big Champion uses the Pilius Discharge. What was that disruption? Oh, was that the Catechons? We have a Vindicare Assassin on the field for Axro using Turbo Penetrator Rounds on the Dreadnought. There's a Melter as well. Noxious Cloud can save it. Vindicare is not affected by the Noxious Cloud, though it's too far away. They are going to get the Dreadnought down here. Under Givens is oh, all the way on the west side. Oh, taking heavy turret shots. Can't take too many of those. Looks like it's switched targets here for some reason. Could have finished off the Dreadnought, I think. I don't get a range indicator, a range indicator on this turret, which annoys me. But it's pretty good range, as long as you have the vision, of course. What other changes were there to the Imperial Guard? Sentinel spotlight no longer displays when purchased, okay. I guess it had some kind of visual effect. I'm not sure what, why they removed it, but cost was reduced as well. Energy cost of the improvised explosive catechers increased a bit from 40 to 60. That's energy to use to be confused with power to purchase. They start with that ability. Kashikin got some visual changes. Plasma gun burst duration added. Okay. Damage reduced, but the same DPS. 465 to 107. Massive VP lead for the blue team. And Ogrin's got a, a reduction in the bonehead leader cost. So maybe we'll see some of that. They can synergize quite well with the Inquisitor. She can make them invisible and stuff. And just uh, maybe just run in and use purgation and stun everything for them. Devastator's getting messed up here. Uh oh. Devastators, yep, go down. So the Kashikin plasma changes to the change to their firing pattern, I think. So the burst damage is reduced, but it's the same DPS overall. In the mid. Interceptors on these Chaos Space Marines. They can't fight them really with the Mark of Zinch. And they're on the VP. What have we got here? Bulwark? Awesome. The Brother Captain did get nerfed here and there. I believe his Holy Armor of Titan was nerfed a few a few times. Let me have a look here. Yeah, less health and less health regen. And his, un his unending purge now gives bunch less health on ranged attacks so you might see some more <coughs> more varied accessories for the brother captain hence the bulwark which gives you i believe it does 35 damage resist and 15 percent damage boost to melee damage so it's pretty good you can throw it on his paladins or something in tier three speaking of tier three under given just hit it and gets a predator tank on the way interceptors are going to teleport in here and ruin this some more Mark of Zinc CSM capping. Where's the plague champion at? Back here. Should be moving, buddy. There we go. Interceptors leveled to three. Up over 2,000 hit points here. A decent bilious discharge. So it did hit some of his own stuff. Heals himself. Heats the hammer of the witches, though. Yeah, you can't eat that and stand there and take shots. Back on the VP. Force one has something to say about this. And what he has to say is hammer. Teleporting in. Some big hits. We have Mantle of Terror. Grants battle rights, which is a heal over time. Pretty cool. I mean, it's not a it's not a ginormous heal, is it? Three per second for 20 seconds. Yeah, so it's like 60 health over time. But it's pretty good. Also gives him the passive bonuses, of course. More health, more energy, more energy regen, and ability cooldowns down by 20%. So I think it's I think this is a nicely, nicely designed piece of gear. Some healing, cooldown reduction, some passive bonuses. Bit of everything. Helps him support his an, a melee army, maybe. Although a 25 radius is pretty good. So you could support allied ranged stuff a little bit. Catechin's in a bit of trouble here. Lots of Dakar, sluggers on them with their knob leader. They don't seem to be attacking, they're just kind of running around 
and taking damage there. Anti-armor stormtroopers, more of them, this time from Eranis. Here are heralds, and they are melting up some shooter boys. Meanwhile, are rocks in the back lines. Looks like it made a bunch of guardsmen flee, but didn't whack them out. Uh oh, you can die. It's a flash kit. Lives. The flash kit lives. On the east side, we have a tank. Bunch. Of, look at the army that Undergiven has. It's pretty impressive. Still has the dreadnought. Hasn't leveled yet. Has a kitted out force commander, stern guard, level two tax, and some more level one tax. Bloody hell! It's quite an army here. Tank is very far forward. Kind of maybe showing rear armor a bit. Here comes a manticore strike. Some big hits. Needs to move. Almost whacked out the tank there. Hell Fury also chucked in by Herald, this time on enemy units, which is helpful. Double Mark of Zinch. I mean, just double Mark of Zinch is enough to just destroy the strike squad, but it was also Terminators called in. There was CS uh, Tactical Marines and stuff. Level 3 Plague Champion to bash some more power, maybe. What's he doing? No one wants to shoot at the Vindicator. There we go. Bash some power. Using Chaos Terminators, they have an auto gun. West side is red, turning blue, thanks to the sneaky commander who's got the special shooter. An orky shotgun. Just as fun as it sounds, but has to run here, unfortunately. We don't get to see him explode a bunch of guardsmen. Bunch of Dhaka, but I think they're going to be out Dhaka because of the range increase of the sniper rifle fire on my target by 30 percent i think yeah it's pretty damn good meanwhile through the mid what was this that was blown up oh that's the manticore they got the manticore shooting the crap out of retreating stormtroopers almost wiped them out there plague champion goes down though uh oh did the chaos terminators use their teleport i bet they used it to get the manticore or something just got stunned there's a holy pyre there's Mind Blades up on the... Looks like they put it on the Strike Squad, not on the Interceptors. I'm pretty sure Interceptors have more melee DPS. They both have a Power Melee Justicar, I believe. Strike Squad don't have their Justicar, though. Yeah, so strange that it was put on Strike Squad and not the Interceptors, but it gets the job done. Chaos Terminators are down either way. Got some Plasma Inquisitorial Stormtroopers as well. Back to the west side. All is quiet for now. See the state of the ground from the rocks. It is red. Force Command is not too happy about this. Might just teleport in and, and do his Thunder Hammer stuff. That might buy a time to cap. Takes a bunch of damage trying to get in though. Needed to use the teleport immediately. Here comes the special shooter. Maybe boom. That is so fun. Did it actually kill anything though? Yeah, I think it was just evenly spread damage. Didn't actually give any models. Back to the east side. Interceptors teleport in and chop up some scouts. Can they get some models? The scouts are 100 XP when you kill them, which is pretty damn high. I mean, they do have a decent amount of hit points, but it seems pretty high for a starter unit. Down goes the Predator tank. Let me compare that to Heretics, which are 50 XP. I believe Orc stuff is like 75. Eldar stuff is really high. I believe Guardians and Banshees are like 90 XP each. Some of the XP values are... A bit, I wouldn't say they're a bit weird. I'm sure there's great, great reasons for them all. But when you look at, for example, a Blood Crusher, which I believe is 600 XP if you kill one of those guys. That's nuts. It's more than a Dreadnought, more than a Wraithor, more than, you know, a Terminator. I'm not sure how much Carnifex this is, but 600 for a Blood Crusher is, is a hell of a lot. I guess it... I guess they take into account how... What stage of the game you can see a blood crusher in and how much how much trouble it can cause and stuff. But uh, still seems still seems like a lot of XP to be feeding when the blood crusher goes down. And again, going back to orcs, I'm just going to ramble about XP now. I remember bringing this stuff up years and years and years ago before the current team was in charge of Elite Mod about some XP stuff like the Nob Squad. Nobs are, are 200 XP each, I think which is not a lot 
That's less than a Tactical Marine. I think Tactical Marines are 230 or 220 or something. And Chaos Space Marines are 200. So Nob Squad is worth the same XP as a Chaos Space Marine. Which uh, doesn't seem right. With their Frenzy and more than double the hit points, that seems pretty low. It's a pretty good Noxious Cloud. And they wipe out the Interceptors here. Those guys had Mind Blades on them. Which is probably why Atro kept them in play for so long. Didn't want to waste the Mind Blades, but they go down. So yeah, XP stuff is weird. Like Seer Council are also 200. Seems like elite tier 3 melee infantry gets off kind of light when it comes to uh, feeding XP. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's because they're a melee unit, you know? They figure... They're going to be in a lot more trouble than tactical marines and stuff, maybe. The knobs can be so hard to kill. So can see a council. Inquisitor might go down. I should, should, should be okay. Scouts are busy repairing stuff. Undergiven's done really well on the east side. Really well. Level 6 plague champion here. Now as armor of pestilence. Artillery spotters are hobbling towards the west side. See Undergiven is splitting his army with Stern Guard and Tax over here. We have... is that double flash kits? Yeah, double flash kits. Not something you'd expect against double guardsmen, but... I mean, the snaz guns that they start with are pretty damn good. I think they're like... They're like 40 DPS each or something. It's pretty nuts. It's like Terminator damage, I think. Or at least it used to be. Maybe they've adjusted it since then. Some good deeps is what I mean. Flash kits be dying though. Plasma guns good against heavy infantry. They are heavy infantry. Trying to keep them behind some cover. Chimera in play from Herald. Allowing these guardsmen to reinforce off it. And uh, yeah, the flash kits can't do much to a vehicle. Commando. Surprised we didn't see the stick bombs from that guy. Being big blobs of guardsmen on this side. Stick bombs could have done a lot of work, or at least made stuff move, you know? Can't shoot, or at least can't shoot as effectively when you're moving most of the time. It's a well-timed mortar shell on their own stuff there. Looted tank with the reinforced plating. Oh, red team down to seven VPs, I didn't even realise. They are in the ascendancy though, I feel like. Mr. Wern with some chosen plague wounds again. A little bit puzzling choice. You'd think they'd go for some tier 3 stuff, but... I mean, it'd be helpful against the Ordo Malleus forces, that's for sure. They just chop down the strike squad there. We do have Paladins in play for Atro. Unique to the Brother Captain. And I'm going to talk them up here, and then they're going to die, aren't they? Down goes the Predator tank. That was under Givens. Was got by the Vindicare Assassin, I think. Emilio Lean death uh, stealth suit. Orbital now from Atro. And hits <laughs> Mr. Mr. Warren's stuff really well. Although it is all retreating and I think it's all probably leveled up and stuff. It should be fine. Looks like a chosen Plague Marine died. No, something died. Oh no, I think that was the Plague Champion healing in midair there. That was fun. Saw that heal go off. I thought a chosen Plague Marine had died and exploded. 2, 5, 6 to 7. Red Team holding on. They have a teleporter relay beacon thanks to the mobile base upgrade or whatever it's called. You see it like locks down the Chimera with these sandbags and stuff and spawns a beacon, which is pretty fun. Allow them to reinforce and more importantly retreat back to the beacon because you can already reinforce up a Chimera. Not something you see that often, this upgrade, but it's uh, nice to see it used. More repairs for the Dreadnought, now level 3. Force Connor's level 5 been very solid. Atro. Did they lose a pa I don't think they lost any paladins. And stormtroopers on the way. Chosen Plague Marine, still level 1. What about the CSM though? Both level 4, Markov Zinch. That's a lot of damage for the paladins. Scouts have been studiously repairing for about 10 minutes, it feels like. You need to push the mid, fellas, because this is not good to push. It seems like. Swaggo still wants to harass it at least to uh, make sure Valoranis stays over here maybe. Perhaps so they can get the red for some rocks. That was a good high explosive shells right there. I mean surely you get stick bombers in this in this instance. Look how they'll 
lobbing around the beacon and stuff. Oh, Andy Gibbons coming this side, really? Let's see how it does. Teleports in. Gets that thunder hammering going. What did they get stunned by there? Not sure where that stun came from. Maybe you threw a stun grenade or something? 199-7. Of course, one is still disrupting stuff back there. That Commissar dies, he does that. That's a that's the end of the Guardsman squad, I guess. Have they already used the barrage? They must have used the barrage. Scouts are still repairing. I think it's time for the Dreadnought to back off. I was already being melted. Here come the melter guns. It's gonna go down, I think. There's some rocks though. Oh, I've got some big rocks in there. That must have been so satisfying for Swagger. Did the Dreadnought live? The Dreadnought lived, you guys. Look at this guy, 11 hit points, level 3. Oh, he goes down. What the hell finished it off? That was weird. Just keeled over and exploded. We have some more Chaos uh, Terminators here. Rocket run. All sorts of stuff. They are being bashed around by... Ouch. Mr. Wern had a bad fight there. Got caught in that nuke, I guess. Here you can see the Mark of Zinc CSM sprawled around the ground. That was painful. That might be that might be exactly what Red Team needed to pull away now. Still seven VPs is not a lot. We do have a rocket launcher commando. Being all sneaky like. Don't know these flash kits have really pulled their weight. I was expecting Weird Boy and Stick Bombers and stick bombs from the commando and stuff. He's level 7 though. He's done some work with that bulky shotgun. Look at this now. Decapping in the mid. Blue team really up against it. Undergiven. Are they looking for terminators here? Might be that they're looking for terminators although they could get a nuke going pretty soon as well. Which could be very useful with stopping a cap or something. Paladins are really far forward. Here comes a whole bunch of stuff to hurt the paladins. I assume they can teleport off. There's the Billy's Discharge. They don't have the Holy Grounds. Brother Captain flees. Holy Armor of Titan is in. The one that was nerfed in 297. Shockwave. Uses it to get away. Maybe get away? Oh, Creeping Barrage. That's quite helpful from Elranis. That might be enough to get them out of there. Meanwhile, Vindicare was getting shots, I guess. This guy level 4. Been used quite well, actually, by Atro. West side is still quiet-ish and red. Or are they just going to all push mid down? Looks like Swagger is going mid. Paladin's getting shot to bits. Oh no, they're going to get chased. Down goes another. I mean, they can't teleport again. They should be moving and firing here, I think. They run into trouble. Force Commander comes in. Doesn't go after the Paladins. Just wants to disrupt stuff. You guys need to keep running. I don't know what you're up to. Yeah. 69 to 7. Don't run. Help, says Undergiven. Can't rely on chaotic allies, buddy. Here come a bunch of orcs, though. They'll fight. Battle wagon on the way for Swagger. Can Blue Team seal this? We need to respond over here. They're going to at least get a decap with the, with the infiltration, I think. Going to take a Vindicare shot. Nope. Couldn't even get the shot off quickly enough. There is a brief moment of being revealed when you start your decap, but then you can infiltrate under decapping, and then you're revealed again once you start doing the cappy bit. Manticore strike coming in. Surprised it didn't come in earlier. I mean, they knew something was there. Waiting for more stuff to show up, I guess. Here comes the reaction for Aranis. Lumen Rush is in play. Orcs trying to stand their ground and hold off for the commando to cap, I guess. Noxious Cloud is a good Noxious Cloud. Need to move it, though. They didn't move it. Orbital coming in from Undergiven. Not doing a huge amount, but it made stuff move when it didn't want to. And they capped it. Is that enough? 2 to 1. 50 to 5. It might be enough. What is this? Oh, Battle Wagon's going west side. It might be enough. See, if they had... Oh, it is enough. There it is. I was going to say. Maybe they should have kept something nearby for for when they 
made Elranis move, but he got it done. Just had to push to mid and he did it. Let's look at his heroes, end of the game. Swagger Git Smacker. Fantastically named Commander Knob, level 8. Level 8 Plague Champion, had the Plague Fist at the end for awesome capping potential. They were reviving then too. Level 6 Force Commander, I think Undergiven did really well on the east side, lots of pressure. Did great with their vehicles as well. Elranis, level 8 Lord the General. Got very solid on the west side. Herald of Diabetes, I mean that was their Chimera over there, that was helping out quite a lot. And a Manticore as well, level 5 Inquisitor. And a level 5 Brother Captain, who was fully kitted. Looks like they have the the big old hammer now, Nemesis Demon Hammer. Also the Holy Armor of Titan, Holy Armor of Titan and Bulwark. There you have it guys. It was a close one. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.